First of all, hi everyone. Thank you for uh, uh, thank you for being here, uh, and thank you for your continued interest in Smart Water Wednesdays. My name is Ben Coffey. I am the training manager for the WeatherTrack products, and I will be in charge of today's conversation. What I'm going to do today is, um, first of all, I'm going to share my screen, and I've got. PowerPoints aplenty that need to be shared. So we're going to go here and start at the beginning. Today's conversation is about HydroPoint user development and support tool. So um, at HydroPoint, we take user experience very, very seriously. Um, it is something that we have invested a significant amount of resources in. And I thought I'd start today's conversation by sharing our HydroPoint mission or our company vision. This was brought to us from Chris Spain. And you can see here that uh, we spell out the mission. And in our mission statement, we talk about how our mission is to increase our users comfort level with water management, increase their water management success. Uh, we talk about saving our customers time, saving our customers money, saving our customers, most importantly, water, right? Our laser focus on water to provide a great solution for our customers that makes financial sense while protecting the planet's future. So I think it's notable to talk about the fact that nowhere in our mission statement do we say we want to make the best widget in the widget business, right? We don't talk anywhere about the control systems or the technology that we use to provide this mission statement that's built in, right? Our focus is helping our customers. And to do that, we need to escort them through the user experience, right? As a company, we don't really focus, our, our primary focus is on delivering outcomes, delivering a solution to our customers and to our market that accomplishes the goals that it set out to do. One of the major complaints that you hear about smart controllers is that it takes management to accomplish that. And I totally agree, right? The controller itself isn't gonna save you any money. It can be managed to waste water just like any other controller. It is a start to finish process of water management that definitely involves the controller, but also involves the people behind the scenes, the, tech in the field, the owner of that controller, all working together to drive at these outcomes, right? To drive at measurable water savings or financial return on investment, reduced risk and liability, right? All these things are not solely based on the technology, but based on the technology and the integration and the process behind the scenes. And so on top of making industry leading technology, which HydroPoint and WeatherTrack is and does, right? Um, which we talk about on most days. Today, we're gonna focus on the behind the scenes, what's happening, how we develop our people, um, how we develop our users to be successful, to understand how the technology works and to integrate it in a way that drives at those outcomes that helps our customers use the technology to achieve what they set out to achieve with their investment in WeatherTrack. And um, to do this, we have an entire team behind the scenes. We call that the customer operations team uh, led by our VP of customer operations, Amir Omar. And he manages four separate teams, four subcommittees as I like to think of them, right? We're going to drill down today on customer support and their role in it um, and how that affects you, the user, because they are the most customer facing uh, leg, the most customer facing subcommittee on this slide. In previous conversations, though, we've talked about that hydro analytics team and the savings analysis and the pre installation savings projections that they can provide. Um, so that's part of this same ideal, the same conversation about customer operations and support. In a future segment, we're going to talk about customer success, a team that we have that helps implement, helps proactively manage those controllers. We don't just drop the technology on new users. If they subscribe for customer success, 
there's actually somebody on our team that looks at those controllers and makes sure that alerts are being seen and addressed and those types of things that can be the difference between measurable success or measurable failure in water management. So I just wanted you to see this slide, right? And see that through our customer operations, uh, behind the scenes, nothing to do with engineering or making controllers. We've got what, 15, 21, 25, 35 people on staff just to help usher in a new user and make sure that anybody who is investing in WeatherTrack is driving at those outcomes, right? Driving at water management success. And to do this, we focus on the customer journey, what we call the customer journey, right? Um, from the first day a customer interacts with WeatherTrack, what does that look like? And how do we continue to drive them towards success? Um, and I think that Amir does a great job with what he calls, I think it's Kaizen. I don't know how to say that word, but he focuses on a management philosophy that is really about continuous incremental improvement. We're never going to get it 100% right. We're never going to be done with successful customer service. It is a day-to-day -day challenge that uh, every day brings something new. And as new products or services or um, technology comes online, a whole new set of support is involved. So we're never going to say mission accomplished. We are we are successfully uh, done with customer service. We are going to focus on being better tomorrow than we were today, right? Making today just a little bit better, a little bit more smooth, make our customers a little bit happier uh, to so they continue to drive at, at those successful outcomes, right? And in doing that, we're really driving to be the best customer support team in the industry, right? And I think you see that. That's one of the most common pieces of feedback that we get when you're calling the other manufacturers, you're getting a team of two guys that are in the back room at, at the production facility, right? We have 35 people on staff that are focused on that same endeavor. So um, just know that when you invest in WeatherTrack and invest in HydroPoint, part of what you're investing in is making sure that we are here to help. And so this conversation really starts where most of our conversations on Smart Water Wednesdays finish out, right? You've seen this slide every week um, talking about how we're here to help. And I just plug what some of those resources are. And this is where our conversation really picks up. Today, we're going to drill down on some of or all of these resources that are available for you users to make sure that um, you know what they are, where they are, and how to use them. Let me tap out of here real fast, get back, make sure I have nothing in the chat or questions. Uh, I, I'm wearing my nerd glasses so I can read your questions, bring them up um, as we go. So nothing yet, I'll keep going. All right, first thing we want to talk about, our customer support team, right? This is uh, something that I think HydroPoint is unmatched at. We have a great frontline service um, of customer support representatives that are there to help. Um, you, you see this, uh, this is a, a little bit dated. So some of our newer members are not in here, but we've got 15 folks that are on those phones, right? And a whole structure behind them that is designed to make sure that the introduction, introductory level questions are, are covered quickly, as well as a support structure that as your questions get more advanced, so does your support, right? You have um, an escalations team of industry experts that if, if these customer service folks encounter something that um, they're not familiar with, we can bump that to a level two and level three support, right? There is a entire network of support that really ends uh, in the executive structure. So if, if it makes its way through me, then I give it to the executive team and the engineering team to figure out. I'm part of this escalations team as the uh, water nerd in me. A um, little bit about those guys. The, the customer support team built in 
included with what you buy with WeatherTrack, available from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific. We start early, so we try and be open for those East Coasters. I know that there's a big time difference, but uh, we're there by the normal workday on East Coast time, right? We're there by 9 a.m., um, which didn't used to be true. So that was one of the big initiatives uh, to make sure that we're supporting coast to coast. We're here on Saturdays. You can contact that team on the phone, right? Call customer service. Um, if you're in the field and you have questions in real time, that's a great way to go. We also have the support at hydropoint.com email. So if you're at in your office and you're just working through stuff, shoot them an email. It's a great way, especially in the heat of summer when wait times are a reality, just to make sure that you get that support request in and we will address it in as timely a manner as, time, as the team has time to manage. Um, also, I think it makes us, what makes us different is that bilingual element, right? We are focused on the Spanish speaking support because Spanish speaking support is such a huge part of our industry. Um, many times the folks who call in are more comfortable speaking Spanish. And I believe more than half of our team is fully uh, Spanish English bilingual. And so the Spanish speakers, if they're more comfortable uh, speaking in their native language can get the support that they need. Um, and you'll see that as an initiative. We continue to drive toward making all of our support mechanisms bilingual. You'll start to see the other stuff that we talk about, the recordings and the documentation stuff live in Spanish as well. Um, one thing that I like to highlight, uh, especially for busy contractors in the busy season, right? Uh, I know that during the heat of summer, when everything is running at full speed, the last thing that you as a contractor want to do is wait on hold, call and sit there and wait for a customer service rep. And so uh, one of the great things that I advocate is setting up an appointment. If you know the day before you're going out to a site that you can be at a controller at a specific time, you can shoot that in an email to customer service and they will set up a support team member to call you at that time which I think is a great thing, right? It has eliminated a lot of the wait time uh, for contractors. It, it makes it much easier to keep a schedule and stay on track. So uh, just a little extra bonus user tip. Um, I think that that's something that if I were a contractor out in the field, I would be using. What I wanted to do today with our conversation about customer service was really give you a, a peek behind the curtain. Um, ooh, I got a question. Um, but it's about learning flow. Jerry, I will uh, address that at the very end. I'll save that and we'll talk about that. Uh, <clears throat> we got busy talking about learning flow before the call. So I will follow up with Jerry after we're done here. All right, so one of the things I wanted to do was give you a peek behind the curtain at our process of customer support. Um, and what we have here is an example of a dashboard that our customer support executives see, right? And I've gone through and updated this for up to today. Uh, I did this this morning and you can see how many calls we are receiving at customer support, right? Between calls and emails, uh, year to date above 50,000 customer touches on that team. Um, and so that's a, a Herculean task, um, one that the customer service team takes very seriously. And we have real-time metrics that you can tie into. There's a dashboard that um, both our VP of customer service and our VP of customer success can log into and just see in real time how our support team is doing. And part of that is the number of calls that are waiting on hold, right? The number of people that are waiting for feedback. Um, and at the end of the day, that all goes into the hat and we track how our performance is and measure our performance based on some key performance indicators. Like you 
having weather track key performance indicators, right? The same thing happens on our customer success. We take that data, we crunch it, and we try and find opportunities for incremental improvement. Um, and part of that is how long we're spending on each call. Part of that, a big part of that, is how long people are waiting. This is uh, year to date, the average hold time is uh, less than two minutes, right? We're sitting at an average wait time of a minute 30, which um, for those of you who have been with us for a number of years is a significant improvement over the old days, right? The old days when um, we had to schedule appointments because wait times in the summer were 10 minutes or more have gone away. This is, uh, we've staffed up, we've done our best to, to keep that team uh, on the cutting edge and, and fully trained to be able to manage uh, those calls in a way that they're getting off of the calls in 10 minutes or less. And people are waiting on hold for less than two minutes anymore. So I think that that's a, a huge part of the performance indicators. The other thing that we look at is after every customer service call, we send out a text message to every user, right? You'll, I know you know what I'm talking about. When you hang up with customer service, it seems like before you hit the end button, there's already a text message on your phone saying, how do we do, please rate our service. I encourage you to take that very seriously because we do. We call that the CSAT or customer satisfaction poll, right? And um, what that shows us is um, how we're doing in your eyes. And most of the time, people are just going to ignore that. But that means so much to us that I encourage you, please, for the betterment of all of the, the HydroPoint system, um, take the time to use that text message survey to either voice your opinions, good and bad, or give call outs to those customer service reps that are especially good, right? This is um, something that our executive team sees, these CSAT scores are constantly poured over by um, many different divisions of our executive structure and our customer support structure. So if you call out a, uh, a good customer support experience, uh, that is something that gets heralded. That is something that gets visibility, right? That goes to that person's boss and, and that means something. Also on the other side, it's important to know that if you have a substandard experience, if something goes wrong and you feel like uh, your expectations weren't met, anytime that a customer satisfaction score comes in at a one or a two, it's on a five point scale, right? Any ones or twos uh, get copied immediately into the executive conversation. So uh, the any ones or twos, get seen immediately by the VP of customer service, Chris Mendiola, who then takes action to make sure that, you know, follow-up happens or we figure out why your experience wasn't up to your standards. So please, by all means, both in the positive and in the negative, let us know how we're doing. It's the only way that we have to measure our performance and to continue to make that incremental improvement. So, um, all right, that's that's it for customer service. Talk to me about um, questions you have for me about customer service. So far, so good. Going twice. Oh, I got one. Okay, um, that is another technical question, not customer service related. Lewis, I will um, bring that back. I will follow up on that at the very end but you're entirely right. Um, all right, so back to our PowerPoint. Now we're gonna get into some live demonstrations, right? Now we're talking about um, beyond the, the curtain, beyond the man behind the curtain, um, there are a lot of resources that you have at your fingertips that don't involve anybody on the other end, right? There's self-help solutions that will help you kind of make your way through WeatherTrack and find solutions on your own. One, what I think industry leading way that we're doing that is through the HydroPoint knowledge base. Um, the HydroPoint knowledge base, you will find at support.hydropoint.com, 
rather than support at hydropoint.com, right? Support.hydropoint.com is the website for our knowledge base that uh, you'll find a keyword search engine of all of the most frequently asked questions and um, kind of user issues. Um, and when you do a keyword search, you'll find task-based or step-by-step -step articles or videos about how to resolve that issue, how to address the issue that you're looking at. Um, and a lot of those resources, again, are in both English and Spanish. So we're gonna take a second. Um, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this and show, okay. We're gonna to go to a quick demonstration of our HydroPoint support knowledge base, right? HydroPoint.support.com. And when you go there, this is our landing page. It gives you kind of the table of contents feel. Um, so it helps you drill down. If you're looking for just general information, we've got some buckets of information and trending articles. This is important, right? We can see um, what people are looking up. The, when I logged in earlier this morning, winterization was on that radar, right? And so um, the way that I use the knowledge base is through this search engine, right? We have this um, Google style search engine that will help you find the article that you're looking for. So if I go in here and I have questions about water window, then uh, I'm getting a water window alert. What does that mean? I type in water window and up comes all of the articles that involve the water window. So I'll select this one. Excuse me. And you'll see right here, um, this one's available in Spanish. Now I've got an uh, article about the water window alert. And in this article, um, we have possible causes of that alert, um, how to clear a water window alert, right? Step-by-step, step, how to go through the process and clear that up. We also have a video. You might recognize the voice on the other end of that video. Uh, I did all of those a while back. And one thing that we have started to do is take these documents, translate them into Spanish. So if you land on this page and you would rather see this information in Spanish, click that link. It'll take you to the same information presented in Spanish. So great troubleshooting, uh, automated troubleshooting through the knowledge base. Um, so you come in here, whatever your issue is, search it up and find the task-based articles that might help walk you through the issue and find a solution without having to call in and talk to anybody about it. Um, all right. Questions about that? We jump back. Okay. I see no questions. So we're going to go move on from knowledge base. The next thing we want to talk about is the online resources. And this is what all the stuff that you'll find at hydropoint.com. Our company homepage is very information rich. There's a lot of information there. So if you haven't checked out hydropoint.com, please do. Um, my friend Meg Mason does a great job at keeping that information pertinent and up to date and keeping that website fresh um, for all users. It's fun to see. So uh, one thing that we want to do, we'll start here at the home page. And um, for the technical users, the stuff you'll find here, um, in my eyes, lives under the resources tab. I am on this resources tab more than any other tab. If I go to this resources tab and click on product materials, you see in here all of the tech nerd stuff, right? All of the um, owner's manuals, all the tech sheets, all of this kind of information that will make it very, very um, easy for you to find what you're looking for, right? You come here, you see product details, 
You can get tech sheets about any one of our products. And as you roll down, you can get design specifications for those designers, uh, installation instructions for all of our different products. Um, some of the marketing materials and frequently accessed documents are right here as well. So um, you can download the, the product catalog or the product brochure. Um, and that is, if I'm, selling WeatherTrack, if I'm a contractor going in to talk to a customer about WeatherTrack and, and present that as a solution, this WeatherTrack brochure uh, is a godsend. It's the trifold with all of our up-to-date marketing literature. I use it all the time. So awesome stuff here at the um, product details page. Another thing that I'll highlight is our customers tab. If you are in that position where you're going to talk to a customer, Sometimes um, uh, it helps to have another voice in the room, right? It's, it helps to have reference customers. And one of the things that we do very well is uh, reference customers. We have some customers that surely your customers will see and under, recognize, right? You can go into our customers tab and find testimonials from similar customers. So if you're talking to say, a commercial property. You can go in here and find testimonials from other commercial properties as long as well as case studies and sometimes videos of their experience, right? And, and I have contractors who uh, just to get another voice in the room, to get another perspective, uh, will use these videos to talk, to hear other um, corporate customers talk about their weather track experience and their outcomes and their measured successes. So it's, it's really a great way to kind of um, use the testimonial base that we've spent so many years building up. All right, that is all I wanna show you on our website. Um, questions from the group on testimonials? All right. I'm, running out of time here. Got to move faster. On the uh, YouTube front, let's talk about our YouTube channel. Um, YouTube has more of the tech nerd kind of video stuff. This is what Ben Coffee does a lot of, making alert videos, um, how-to videos. You can find out how to do the Pro 2 to Pro 3 upgrade from here. Um, my friend Lance Elliott does a great job at creating videos you may have seen the, his most recent production talking about the update to WeatherTrack Mobile, right? So we have our own dedicated YouTube channel. If you come and check out the videos at our YouTube channel, um, a lot of how-to stuff, a lot of alert stuff. Um, sometimes when we're in the news, we'll post the, the news stories here. So lots of fun ways to um, train yourself on both the technical side as well as um, stay up to date with what HydroPoint is doing. And then, okay, we go to, oh, one thing I do like about both the Learn Upon and the YouTube videos is how we've integrated them into the daily workflow of those field users, right? I, I had to um, give a plug to our alert response being built into WeatherTrack Mobile. So as you pull an alert up on your phone, as you're walking the site, if you get on your phone and you're like, what the heck does this alert mean? We've embedded both the knowledge base article and the YouTube video in that device or in that alert notification that allows you to have easy access to that information and, and learn on the go. Again, um, the number one call that we get to customer service is what the heck does that alert mean? Um, and we're trying to save you steps and save you time by in integrating that into the technology. And lastly, we're gonna talk a little bit about training. I know that this uh, is a drum that I bang on quite a bit because I'm the training manager. So uh, I just wanna remind you that we have HydroPoint University available, both. Uh, on-demand and live training that I do. Um, and so our on-demand services are driven by a learning management platform called LearnUpon. Um, and they are really top-notch, industry-leading 
uh, learning management system where we've set up the HydroPoint University Training Store. All of the offerings at the HydroPoint University Training Store are free. So you can go in and you can, <clears throat> the first thing you would do is set yourself up a learn upon account. One very frequently asked question or misstep is thinking that your learn upon credentials are your weather track credentials. When you're in learn upon, you have to set up a learn upon account. And then you can come through and add to your cart uh, any of the learn upon structured training materials, right? I've made recordings, broken them down into chapters that make them bite sized enough that hopefully they're not too brutal to watch. Um, and for many of these, there's a test at the end. When there's a test, there's also a certification, right? I won't uh, just give people participation trophies for training. You can't just turn it on and walk away. But as part of this free price, if you take the test at the end and you score 80% or better on that test, there is a certificate. And I encourage my end users to know this, right? Our customers out there are asking for certified contractors. They want contractors who know the WeatherTrack system. And so they've built into their RFPs uh, that you have to take this free training and get the certificate to even bid on maintenance packages. Something that I think, um, because it doesn't have any cost other than your time in taking that, is a great way of introducing all of the different aspects. I promise that the what I think that the basic training is a little bit better than two hours. And if you spend two hours on it here, I promise it will save more than two hours in the field. We also have OptiFlow certified training. So if you're an OptiFlow user, as well as some high level technical discussions like uh, controller installation and flow sensor installation, a lot of really good materials there for the technical users out in the field. Um, so definitely check it out. Um, not all of them are certified. There's not a test on every one of those. So you can take them all. Uh, and the test is optional. You can use that test if you want. Uh, if you don't, no big deal. Won't hurt my feelings at all. It's just there to verify that everybody is paying attention. Um, and then last but not least, there is, or pre-COVID, there was a lot of live training, a lot of opportunity for us to all get in the same room and hammer through advanced topics, things like two wire, flow installations, flow troubleshooting, right? Um, if you're interested, I still do a lot of this via webinar. So if you want to have interaction, right, if you want somebody to lead a, a training, by all means, reach out to me, bcoffee at hydropoint.com. Um, be happy to set some time aside. You've, you've got a group of people who want to delve into some of these more advanced topics and have somebody on the other end with, for live question and answer. Um, that's what I do and I'm happy to help. So um, I hope that this has been valuable for you. That brings us to the end of uh, the customer training and support um, conversation. I really think that we are working hard to provide you um, the support that you need to make your water management program a success. And I wanted to kind of delve into that with you. Um, so thanks for taking time and learning about that. I hope it was useful. Um, as of next week, I will be taking the week off. We have a very exciting project that will pull me into the field every day next week. But in two weeks, I will return and be back to have an awesome special guest and uh, we'll figure out some content for you um, coming up in restarting in two weeks. So thanks everyone for tuning in and we will see you again in two weeks.